And our dad told us all these stories about growing up here. I tell you it sucks? <laughs> Actually, I think he kind of loved it. When we came here as a family. Like it's too dangerous for them to know. It's more dangerous if they don't. You're Superman? No, we've seen Superman before. We've seen him. Oh, the boys, you're Superman. I couldn't lie to him anymore. This is gonna keep my family together. Clark, it's gonna tear it apart. All the times you were gone, you lied to me, you both did. I can't just abandon the world. The world will always need Superman. Right now, this family needs you more. Superman and Lois, two-hour premiere event, Tuesday, February 23rd. Stream free next day, only on the CW app. Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Trip Around the Moiverse with your hosts, the Earth X version of... Me, Kyle Charles, and <laughs> and uh, the bastard brother of uh, Kalel himself, C. Y. Chung. And we are here today to talk about the overall series of Superman and Lois season one, which ended this week. Was it last week? I actually can't remember. Of the time this recording, I can't actually remember when it ended. But we it, the, the middle of August is when yeah. it ended. Yeah. I watched it week by week. And then yeah. you as just... we do on a VPN. Yeah. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So um let's go. How did yeah, you it... show? Uh do we just spoil it straight from the start, I guess, yes. Yeah? It's not like a, it's a film come out, it's like uh, fifteen episode weekly, so yeah. Yeah. So we... Screw it. from the start. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Um but, but let me just speak about the overall story first, yeah, and oh, how it will cool. execute. Uh, it never felt slow. It just kept no. it kept on moving. Even though, um, you could call it the 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 kiddie drama bits, because mm. they the Jonathan and Jordan, yeah, the sons uh, the twin sons of Superman, yep, they 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 were on a journey of discovery themselves as well because um, one of them social anxieties, yeah, and were I don't want to say mental issues because it's not that mental health issues even. I don't know, because I think it started as that, but then, obviously, it's more to do with his powers, isn't it? Well, no, my, not, necessarily, not necessarily. Here's the thing. I don't think they're specifically to do with his powers, uh, but as as he it had, uh, his powers came on top of having those issues, it was interesting to see, except that I think partway through the series, the kind of, like, the issues he had... Yeah, just disappeared. They kind of... Not, not necessarily disappeared... But they were they not as apparent, yeah. and there was more about his Kryptonian development. Yeah, uh, yeah. And the other kid who's the uh, quarterback for the school team. Yeah. And then he got shifted uh, because when they went to Smallville and they're going to school there, he he's a nobody. Not he's a nobody there, but he's like he has to start all over again. Yeah. With, uh, so and then what yeah. sort of made him special wasn't making him special anymore because of yeah. And then, and then, and then more like, he's not the popular guy anymore. He's just, he's just another jabroni. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it was like, okay, that's, that's interesting stuff as well. And they didn't really write it cliche, cliche where they're like, oh, please, I don't want to see this kiddie stuff because it's just, it's just dumb. Yeah. They, they do it in a way where it, it weaves in, within the entire story. Yeah. Because it wasn't like stupid teen drama. No. No. Oh, they were quite interesting rather than yeah annoying. i mean like some bits some bits are cliche or whatever right but it's just like it, it, it as part of the overall story of the execution it was like actually no this is this is relevant yeah <laughs> yeah you know? it worked uh, it worked yeah yeah i, I didn't did, hate them you know because yeah. most shows like this i end up hating like the the, the, the children characters but no i actually like both of them yeah uh and uh i think it, it did well because it was 15 episodes it was like uh standard cw seasons like 22 23 episodes right 26 at point sometimes but yeah oh really yeah between 23 and 26 okay yeah yeah Bloody hell, yeah and yeah. um, th and this this helped it helped this a lot by just being shorter um first of all quality wise hmm. 
Uh, the writing was always good. Yeah. I want to say the special effects, they, they used their budget where they needed to for the, the big scenes. And um, they didn't need to have outlandishly massive fight scenes. No. That way as well. One thing I'll give about this show as well, it didn't look like a TV show, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like you're saying, yeah. like, yeah, like filming-wise, it looked... Yeah? Hmm? It looked like a high-budget drama. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Even they probably just changed like the different cameras they sort of used and whatever. But it, it did make it look like set aside from all the other like yeah. Arrowverse shows. Yep. Uh, the story was well done. Yep. Because it never seemed to slow down. Um, they had their a pl- uh, they had their a plot, mm. which is who is Captain Luther slash Steel, right? Yeah. I had the first the beginning half of it, and uh, and the B plot was what's what's Morgan Edge's What's going on with him? Yeah. So by the halfway point, they was they kind of swapped their A and B plots in in relevance or yeah. priority. And I didn't uh, see it coming. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was all like okay, this is and that crossover, but then they they back interweave again. Yeah. So it's like ah, oh, well done because it's not like he introduced one guy and they have someone else take over the, the villain role at the end. They mm. were like these are the two guys we're concentrating on, and you know something's fishy. Yeah. But. They start, they, you know, we've got something behind that something. Yeah. Again, I was like, oh, I did, like the two reveals. I was like, oh, yeah. I legit did not see any of that. All right. So, okay. I, I, I the thing with the steel reveal, yeah, mm. uh, John Henry Iron. Okay. So when he come out in the first episode, and yeah. he took up the helmet, and they're like, oh, Captain Luther, and I'm like, okay, fine, Lex Luthor from Parallel Universe. Yeah. Uh, from the multiverse that you know, uh, the Christ and Infinite Earths. Yeah. I don't mind that, right? Yeah. But then they kind of used that to hide that he was steel, or like John Henry Irons. I'm like, yeah. why did you do that? I know you want to pretend that he is Lex Luthor to throw people off. Mm. But at the same time, it's like, so you're telling me he couldn't reprogram the computer system that he took and he's calling Captain Luthor just to throw the audience off. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, now you're saying that, that was a bit, yeah, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. But then later on, it starts calling him... Yeah. Yeah, John. I know. I know why they tried to hide who he was, right? The way yeah. He was, yeah. But I just don't think the way that they, uh, uh, I think the way they did it was just too. Oh yeah, we're gonna trick you deliberately, rather than yeah. okay, it's organic kind of. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can't reprogram Lex Luthor's whatever. Oh no, forget that. Forget that. Yeah. It uh, just been better off if they called him like a, uh, some sort of code, not not a steel code name, but just something like Luthor style code name. Yeah, even if that's like, if the suit just said Luther on it, and then later on he goes, "I'm John Henry Irons." That yeah, 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 because that would have made more sense. Because he stole, if he steals the tech from Luther, and it's Luther tech, yeah, it's gonna have Luther logo on it, and therefore you can kind of assume. Yeah, right, and yeah. even if the computer just said Captain or Commander or something like that, you just kind of put the pieces you get together yourself. Like, oh, it's Commander, and it yeah. says Luther on his suit, therefore it's Commander Luther, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then they've been like, "Oh, you, this, the audience—they were fools themselves." <laughs> yeah, rather than yeah, I get what you mean now. Yeah, um, but uh, you know what? What did you think of the the steel armor that you, that? Uh, I thought it looked alright. You know, for... yeah, it looked good. Yeah. It looked um, <laughs> at first. I thought, "Hey, it's Master Chief from Halo," and then the <laughs> guy. But then, yeah, it grew on me. I was like, because like, at yeah. first I was like, "This is cool." If it's Luther's battle armor, it is what it is. Yeah. But then. I- when I found I, out he was John Henry, no, no, I was like, "You go on." I was going to interrupt you. Go on. Oh, no, go on. I thought what was going to happen is I didn't mind the bulky suit at the beginning, mm. but by the time he shifts over to the um, good, the side of the good. Well, he always, in his own mind, was on the side of the good. But anyway, yeah. once he once he's on the Kal El te- the Superman team, mm. I thought he was going to streamline his armor to make it look more like steel. Because there's a break in a couple of episodes where he doesn't appear until they ask him to need help again. Yeah, and. Superman kind of had to fight with the suit and dealt with it. So you yeah. thought, okay, when he rebuilt a new suit, make it look more like traditional steel. But I can guess why they didn't. Um, yeah, I don't think it... TV show-wise and budget-wise, I don't think it would work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe next season, though, they would um, they will do that. Because I always... It, even though uh, it didn't have... Like, okay, if anything, I thought maybe they'll just slap the S on it. Not, not the hexagon S that Superman had, but you know Steel's got that octagon S. Does he? I thought he's, I thought his S is the same as Superman. Yeah, he started off with that, and then he, then later on through the years, he changed to an octagon-style one. Oh, okay. 
Oh, um, yeah, I thought. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought maybe oh, you're going to have some, something to signify you with Superman. Uh, with Superman, but then again, he never fought Superman in front of other people, so therefore he wouldn't need to say, "I'm actually with this guy now." Yeah, uh, that kind of. Um, as we uh, spoke about before, Superman's suit. Yeah, I got used to it. I got used to it, but it's the shoulders. Everything else, kind of okay. Yeah, it's a bit padded or whatever, right? Yeah. But it's the shoulders that put everything else uh, disproportionately. A chest is a bit too buff as well, right? Yeah. But the shoulders are the ones that throw everything off kilter. Yeah. They, they, need, they need to streamline the look of that. Like like you, I got used to it, but then there were certain bits would take me out of it. Like yeah. when someone like will touch him, Yeah. it kind of think, takes me out. Wow, that's, he's wide. Yeah. And then you see Tyler Hecklin without the suit, and you're like, but that's, yeah. Where did those extra inches come from, you know, on the either side of his the body? <laughs> oh, that bit didn't put me off, because, like, you know, that weird Superman mass thing where he can change his mass and, like, crap. Yeah. So I was like, that's cool. But just, like, yeah, when... It's a bit when Lois sort of hugs him and touches his shoulders. I was like, yeah, yeah that doesn't yeah, look real. Yeah. Now, I have to say, in my own head canon, I was like, you know what? He can take kryptonite. He, he, he got stabbed by steel, right, in yeah. their first fight. Hmm. Uh, and then he got shot with kryptonite bullets that kind of still embedded themselves in his suit. Yeah. So if you're going to say that bulky suit is also kryptonite protection to some degree, and it's not just him underneath that suit, because you can't pretend that body that buff, right? Yeah. I'm like, all right, so he's wised up after these 20 years of being Superman that he needs a bit of a, you know, yeah, co- coverage. Makes sense. Uh, I don't know if that's what they were going for, but I was like, in my head, I was like, okay. Yeah, all right, I buy it. Even though I'm making excuses for myself. It makes more sense than my sense. Like, I saw it as... Because I remember reading somewhere, some comic, that Kryptonite from... Because it's obviously still brought Kryptonite from his dimension, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And from what I remember in some comic, that Kryptonite only affects you Mm -hmm. properly if it's from the same dimension you're from. Yes, um, I want to say yes and no, but at the same time, it's I don't think they've gotten into that too much. Yeah, that's what, I, yeah, because like if you look too into it, then maybe, but yeah, they ain't got into that, so but that's how I sort of justified it in my own head. Well, to be fair, it's infinite universes, so some might affect him, and some might not affect him, but in particular stories, some kryptonite has not affected him from yeah. other universes, yeah, but um. Random, random. I don't know if you know, but as we're talking about kryptonite here, do you know what pink kryptonite does to Superman? Oh, please don't tell me it does what I think it does to him. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is this, right? There was a panel hmm. in one of the uh, Superman comics in the 2000s, right? Yeah. And they were just talking. They were having different kryptonite. What the different kryptonites did to Superman, hmm. and then. Um, they, they they had the panel. I don't know if it's a joke. It's kind of like a little sideways joke, but there's a, they are also pink kryptonite. And then what is it? The picture of the uh, you know the Daily Planet office. Yeah. Jimmy Olsen, uh, not not buff black Jimmy Olsen because that'd make this even worse, right? Yeah. We're talking about ginger white Jimmy Olsen with his bow tie and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Sitting on his uh, on at his own desk with a hmm. computer, a Superman. Kind of half leaning, uh, you know how when you obviously lean on a desk uh, at your waist height, so you kind yeah. of half sitting, half leaning on it. Yeah. He's got his arms folded. He looks like he's looking at Jimmy. He says, "Say, Jimmy, uh, that's a very nice bow tie you've got there." And yeah, oh. well, I think it was meant to be a laugh because it wasn't meant to be. You know, it's just implications, yeah, just for the joke of it. But it really doesn't mean anything in, in the context of anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, so people can interpret it how they want, right? But I'm just saying, I saw that and I was like, you guys are jokers. You guys are a bunch of jokers. Yeah, freaking hell. That's just... Uh... Um, yeah. <sighs> it's made me sad. <laughs> it's made me sad. All right, hold on. Let me, let me just question you. you what does, uh, do you know what Blue Kryptonite does to Superman? Uh, not off the top of my head. I believe Blue t- Kryptonite turns him human. Depowers him. Yeah. Oh, is that what... Well, in Smallville, that's what it did. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, because I remember that. Because I know one of the kryptonites... I know we're going off tangent. We're going off the topic, but... Yeah. I know one of the kryptonites, if someone's pregnant, I feel I've mentioned this before, and it is exposed to the person carrying a baby, that baby will come out of no powers. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, I know there's obviously green kryptonite, which uh, which is toxic to to the Kryptonians. Yeah. Um, which didn't have that huge effect here, by the way. But we could say he's built up resistance over 20 years because yeah, he has like... been on Earth for a long time. Yeah. Um, so it's less effective. And then um, I do, but there's gold kryptonite. I think. Oh, don't, well, it, it, there's kryptonite in this series. That's what Morgan Edge was going after. Yeah. I know. Uh, red kryptonite. Uh, what does red kryptonite do? And Smallville drove him. Drove him. It, yeah, it gave him rage, it, like roid rage, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It loses inhibitions. Yeah, so, um, I can't remember though. Yeah, I can't remember the. There, there were some wacky things they did with kryptonite back in the day. Whenever they needed to, to turn Superman into an animal, whatever color kryptonite. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Black but kryptonite. This, in this series, so the first part of the story, the first kind of major story point is who is this uh, Captain Luther guy? Yeah. And the stranger. Who's the stranger? Yeah. Why is he trying to kill Kal-El? What Superman? Why is he determined to to put him down? Mm. And the bleep plot is like, why is Morgan Edge coming after a Smallville? Even though Morgan Edge, is, he's going after smaller cities first of all. Yeah. So that's for him, right? His plan was, I'll do it to the smaller cities, and then I'll go for my main target as a cover up. Yeah. Like, okay, that's actually quite a smart move. Uh, turns out Morgan Edge is the bastard brother of Superman ish. No, no. No, he... not really. Because his mum was married to that guy. Yeah, so, so, so uh, just to clarify, when, when Carl says his mum is... Superman's mother... Yeah, I can't remember Lara, her name. ...was with some other guy? Yeah. Was it Were they married or were they in a relationship? They were married. Okay, yeah, yeah. I could, I could, uh, yeah, I didn't... Uh, they were married. They must have had a kid and then divorced and then uh, uh, Lara got with jor Yeah. 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 And so, and then Morgan Edge, it turns out, is this this other guy, this Kryptonian who got sent to Earth as well. Yeah. Somehow. Um, and we're going to, we're, as this series sets it itself apart from pre crisis Supergirl. Hmm. Or, or as me and you do, we're just going to say this takes, not places any continuity, but as per wrestling as well, it's like, it's its own, it's its own story separate from, uh, apart from everyone else's stories. Because... Yeah, but it's still slightly intertwined in it yeah yeah exactly when convenient yeah yeah exactly exactly yeah um so yeah we just leave it be um yeah so morgan edge is corrupt uh yeah ish i know he, he was sent to take over the world like right? something like that right yeah he, superman got sent to the well uh uh I sent to Earth and Jor- Jor-El's like, yeah, you can be their, their um, not saviour, but you can lead them to, to glory to some yeah. degree, right? you can help them. Yeah. Uh, Morgan Edge's dad was like, you can take them over, you can rule this world. Yeah, basically. Like, all humans are scum. You can go and take them over. Yeah. You're, you're and um, Morgan Edge landed on Earth in the British countryside where they look like they're farmers with shotguns. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah. there's a French accent, by the way, right? Mm. But it's just like okay, they're chasing him into a forest and they're using just shotguns on him on this kid. Um, yeah. Down, even though it's not hurting him, it's just like uh, uh, not not hurting him. They, it's making impact, and he's stumbling around from that stuff. But it's just like you're telling me these Britons, right? They they're harsh bastards. Yeah, I was like, this is a bit OTT in it, but okay, cool, I guess. Uh-huh. And then they lock him up, in it? Yeah, it was really yeah. weird. Yeah, so all the bad stuff that you would assume would happen to Superman, experimentation and all that stuff, turns out the British were doing it to Morgan Yeah, Edge. to him, innit? Well, what, what was the actual Kryptonian name? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, one second. Al Rowe? I can tell you. Um, Wikipedia says... Yeah. yeah. Tal Rowe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, yeah, so that's that was that. Um, but then he escapes. He makes his own fortress of solitude. You know, he's got he got the kryptonite crystal, whatever. Yeah, in the forest, does... in some, some desert somewhere. They ain't exactly so where it is. No. And then his it dad, could like... be England because there's nowhere deserty in England. <laughs> so... yeah, 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 yeah. And the first thing when he switches it on, and he's like ten years old, and he managed to get away from. No, was he nineteen when he got away from? Uh, he was a teen, I think. He was arrested, wherever it was. 
the British government, we're going to call it, right? Yeah. The shady British government. The first thing he says was like, you're a chump. Yeah, you're oh, wow. right. You're a nobody. You need, you need to, you need pain to know that you can't have pain. I'm like, man, no wonder why this guy turned up evil. Yeah, you're like, hmm, okay. I and guess. That just blast him like with uh, some sort of pain ray or whatever. Yeah, that's freaking weird. And until, until the guy can't feel no pain no more. I'm like, what? Not, not like, like I just said it, but it's just like, that was, is this a train of thought? You're just going to make him feel so much pain until he can't feel pain. And yeah, you're like, him... that makes right. no sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bad but... parenting, but all right. Yeah, well, like, that's how, that's how you get, um, an abuser to build another abuser, you know? Yeah, basically, yeah, just repeating a cycle, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, so that was a bit that was that was off key to me, but at the same time, I was like, it's not so out like okay, it was played seriously, yeah. Yeah. And it could have also been played outlandishly if this wasn't a, a actual serious drama se- uh, action series. Yeah. They did it over the top. If it to- if they did it so over the top, you you could laugh at it as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's not that's not how they went for it, and no. quite rightly because otherwise they would have just made things a bit completely weird. Yeah, um, you're gonna find him for it. When I was playing stuff, hmm. um, Sam Lane uh, did a most. I think he did actually really good. Yeah, man, I like that character. At first, I didn't like him, then I got to like him because there's a bit where it's like maybe he's gonna turn on Clark, but then yeah, yeah. I, I feel like he, the way that he wrote he they wrote him was like. I get what you're doing, Superman. I get you're doing Clark because he knows Clark's identity, yeah? Yeah. The problem is you're Superman as well, so you, you, you've got to make your priorities straight. Yeah. Um, Saving the world is more important than than hanging out with your son, you know, saving your family, whatever. It's, yeah. It's that, unfortunately, that's the way it is. Um, The world takes precedence over your family. Yeah. And Clark's exactly. like, no, not, not always. There was one bit, right, where um he didn't, he didn't help the army on something, right? Yeah. And when he appears to to help them, yeah, Sam Lane's like just giving all these um, passive aggressive uh, verbal messages, and I'm like, and Clark's like, "Yeah, sorry, I wasn't here before, but I'm here now. We should we not get to solving the problem?" He's in a way that's still polite, but at the same time, it's like, cut your shit out. Yeah, like, dude, come on, man, just stop being a child about this. So just get on with it. Yeah, so I'm gonna applaud them for that. Um. But yeah, he's like you say. He started off kind of, I think they deliberately did it though. They, he started off a bit harsher, yeah, a bit kind of a stone wall. But gradually through the series, they softened him up. So yeah. he, if you looked at the beginning of the series and the end of the series, kind of, no, he's a different character. But it's like he's changed as well. He's developed. Yeah, because you can you can see where he sort of realised that yeah, you can't. Yeah, I mean the army's my life, and I'm telling you to do the things. The way that I did in the army, but look how I ended up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which was cool, you know, character development. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so when the army... So Morgan Edge is trying to take over Smallville because it's got all the kryptonite shards from when Clark landed on on in 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 there, right? Yeah. In, on the town. So he's using that to, what? Convert in... people into Kryptonians? So, yeah, exactly. He's got the Eradicator, or whatever they're calling it, right? Yeah. Which contains... Memories of Kryptonians or some some strange yes, things like that. Yes, I think they're memories. Yeah, they're brainwaves or something. That's why he yeah. can. Yeah. Okay, some of this stuff you're like, all right, moving on. <laughs> yeah, this was like, why can't you just use say this is the using the codec thing from Man of Steel where that kind of made more sense. Yeah, we had Kryptonian DNA in it, which makes more sense than Kryptonian brains. And, and here's the other thing as well. I was like, so you're telling me. Uh, Morgan Edge slash Tauro, yeah. that your your father's treating you like your red-headed stepchild, right? Just beating you down and 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 verbally thrashing, and that's the only Kryptonians you've been interacted with. Yeah, why and would you want more? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why would you want more of them? If uh... yeah, yeah, I oh, said that. Yeah, that... broken no, logic. It's different, there. right? By the way, it's different if uh, he's. He saw Superman. He's like, "Oh yeah, that's the, the the peak of how our people can be." Yeah, right. But at the same time, he's not even trying to be good. He's trying to be bad. So I, they, it still don't make logical sense. No. Though we'll say in the the multiverse world where John Henry Irons came from, mm. that must have succeeded to some degree because yeah. Superman 
on, it, Superman's taken over the world with uh, his group of Kryptonians. Yeah. Good point. Good point. But then again, I guess I don't know how evil evil Jor-El would have been. So <laughs> we'll see how it works. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it's it's. Do you want to say it was cliche so you can get John, uh, John Henry Irons to be the antagonist for the series because he sees Superman, evil Superman, uh, destroy stuff in his world. Yeah. So you can see, Can't... like, he's, he's he's reserved against Superman and all that stuff. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I suppose the way the story they're told, the, how other, what, not necessarily what other way you could do it, but it's just more like, even if it's uh, Zod, right, who yeah. took over um, John Henry Iron's world, yeah. he was thing against Kryptonian, so it didn't matter if, if it was Superman or not. Yeah, Kryptonian or not, he would just he would any Kryptonian, he'd be like, yeah, no, nah, they all need to die. <laughs> yeah, but it would just happen to be more impactful in his. I don't want to say he's a heel face champ because he didn't really do that. He he was always on the side of good according to himself. Yeah, <laughs> um, but it's just that he married Lois in his alternate world, hmm. and when he sees Lois with Clark, who's also who's Superman. I think that's when he kind of turned the the corner a bit more yeah. on trusting with my life sort of thing. Yeah. So so yeah, it, I don't think it would have made it would have made less impact if it was just a, another round of Krypto, uh, Kryptonian taking over this world. Yeah, it had to be Superman. I mean, well, yeah. Clark. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they didn't keep keep the the suit from Supergirl that it had or a variation of it because that looked more natural to fit the body of Tyler Hecklin. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, wrong. I, I the suit looked cool, suit but fun. yeah, it was a bit weird. What the new suit or the old suit? The new suit. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the old suit looks a bit more regal, if I think, if I can put it that way. Yeah, and it's probably clasps on the side of it, uh, by uh, on his shoulders that make it look like that. Yeah, uh, just makes it stand up a bit more. Also, they airbrushed his muscles on on his suit. I'm like, but the old suit didn't have that, so. Old suit looked more like an actual suit. Yeah. I think they tried to imitate the, with the new suit. This is a guy in spandex, except that it's not. Yeah. Um, and I think I have to slightly blame Zack Snyder for it, because Zack Snyder, when he had the Man of Steel suit with Henry Cavill, it didn't have airbrush. It had highlights, but didn't really have airbrushing muscles on it. Mm. And later on, like in Justice League um, and Batman vs Superman, it just they. They started airbrushing more and more muscle tone on it. It's like, yeah, but that's the suit's meant to be look like a suit. You know how thick that suit looks, like yeah. you know, but material wise, um, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Well, you know what? Even you don't, you don't even get muscle tone. So the suit that Christopher Reeve wore, you didn't even get muscle tone in that suit. So yeah, but this is not the greatest body for Superman, was it? But yeah, oh, I get you mean. You know what I mean? It's just they don't. You don't necessarily need all this fake muscle airbrushing just makes things st- stick out a bit worse. I, I mean, don't know. The, the Kingdom Come suit that Brandon Ralph had didn't need none of that. Yeah, but you could tell it was muscly formed, though. Because mm. that, that one, he's real physique underneath that. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fair as well. That's fair as well. But it yeah. didn't look like it stuck out that much. I don't know. Because of... I think the reason why it stuck out more, like, yeah. Kingdom... Like, how it's filmed because then this was more like the arrow, arrow stuff is all like sort of brightly filmed and stuff like that. Yeah. This was kind of like dark ish, yeah. So I think well, that's no, why no, I noticed okay. not, not dark, not dark ish, but more. I can't think of the word, but I know what you mean it's yeah. not, it's filmed uh, differently, but yeah, yeah, like a more a high budget, like yeah. there's money into it, yeah, a yeah, huge yeah, yeah. amount, yeah, and it kind of looks. You could, that's what that's why you was able to see like the airbrush stuff like you were talking about. Yeah. Unlike with Arrow and all that, especially that Kingdom Come episode. Yeah. It was quite bright. So you Yeah. It, yeah. I also I think the suit was um the other thing as well with the suit is they've muted the colours to a certain degree. Like everything's all darker. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but you're Superman. I don't know. I prefer, well, I prefer the darker suit. I don't like the bright blue. Oh, what, okay. What did you think the? I want. I want to say the version. The, the version one suit. You know, the, the one that his mum made him. That you see in the flashbacks. I didn't mind that because it was a flashback and it kind of yeah. makes sense. 
when Superman was around to have something brighter because you know he's yeah. still happy go lucky whatever. But twenty years on, you know, st- stuff kind of changed. You want to be more dark in it. So okay, fair enough. I sort of preferred that. Yeah, uh, so I think... So, yeah. Um, Superman fights Steel, or the Stranger, right? Who's yeah. always come up with ways to baffle Super. No, no, not baffle. Um, not And not necessarily defeat, but... That's out of thing- him. What you say? During the fights and yeah. stuff. You know, get away. Not necessarily just get away, but it's like his, his entire arsenal is about fighting Superman. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Now, you got to say, by the way, if Superman has super speed... Yeah. After the stranger's reaction, uh, you could uh, even if you say the suit can match those super speed with all its jet propulsion, mm. you gotta have reactions <laughs> to match that. Yeah, it's but this is the same. It like sort of the same problem with like every superhero sort of thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. How can you fight the flesh? How can you hurt the flesh? You yeah, exactly. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I did as well like how they never had um one and done kind of. Bad guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. they were relevant to it, the the ones that they did have were relevant to the story told, and it would have been nice to have ever so often some other bad guy. Yeah. Like make like the the in the world of Superman make an appearance of to do something because just it just makes it feel like he's got a rogues gallery. Yeah. The main two people here were the Stranger. Yep. And uh, what's his name? And uh, Morgan Edge. Yeah. I know what's it called that. Well, who's the the villain that made an appearance? The Toy Man, wasn't it? Is it Toy Man? I think so. And uh, and that super speed dude who was Tag. Tag, what's his name? Yeah, he wasn't a really. Was he? I just thought he was just a kid that they brought in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying he was the only other one kind of. Other than the the the, the okay, so the only two people that were part of the story that didn't have powers mm. as part of the main story were these two villains. The rest of the people involved here are like experiments because Morgan Edge was, like you're saying, trying to use the Eradicator to uh, impose Kryptonian mind waves onto yeah, the subjects. Yeah, people powers. Don't know that yeah. and, and, Thaddeus and Kilgrave. All, Sorry, girl. Yeah. And all the other people that, that had the Kryptonian powers, they were a bit, uh, parts of this um, experimentation. Yeah. But it's nice, to, like you say, if there was a Toy Man or or some other smaller spider, Superman villains for him to just, like, one-off smack across the head or something like that, you know what I mean? Oh, wasn't there that Nazi dude? In the oh, yeah, part? yeah, from the very first, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to say I want to say more of him, but more of those type of episodes, where at least there's something there that Superman... But then again, they used most of the Superman's rogue galaxy for Supergirl, so who they got left, you know? I don't know, but I think if they went that way, it would just turn no, no, to, no. Yeah. like having sort of thrown the villains here and there be kind of like all the other like the early seasons of like yeah. all the other CW no, you're shows. Right. Um, I'm not saying have them in every episode I'm just saying you know, you know uh, he's dealing with like uh, as a minor whatever that he has to deal with on that side and then come back to the main story you know just to, just to make it seem like there's he ha- actually has villains that he's regularly tussling with I don't know man I think it was brought it to the same level as the other shows if it did that Okay. I well, kind of no, like yeah. that. I had like a overarching story. Every episode sort of linked into each other, rather than this no, is this, sort of the way the story told is is much uh, is much better. Yeah. Than, than the other shows, um, but it does help that it's shorter as well. Yeah. Um, much much shorter. Yeah. And do you want to do you want to <laughs> should we go into a little bit of the uh, high school drama uh, section of it <laughs> and then go back to the main story, right? Yeah. Ugh. So, um, it's got that usual, you know, boy fancies girl who's out of his league with obviously Jordan and um, Sarah Lang. Sarah Cushing, Cushing Lang. No, yeah. Sarah Lang Cushing, right? Yeah. Who, yeah, so she's, you know, the popular girl of school at, the, at this point, at the start anyway. And she's out of Jordan's league, as I've said. And she's going out with the high school quarterback. Everything's going good. Jordan takes fancy to her. Goes to a party. <laughs> Jordan's powers manifest. Well, and... no, 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 no. They, they go to a party. Uh, Jordan try, goes to kiss the girl. Yeah. The girl's like, 
Not what you think, because she, she actually continues to kiss, but it's like after the kiss, I, I don't know, it's like a weird transition where it's in the middle way. She's not, not kissing him back, but at the same time, she's not reciprocating it. Yeah. I think she's more like, you know, when something happens and you're like, and you're just completely puzzled. Yeah. That's what, that's what, that's what happened there. She didn't go with the flow, but she didn't, did not stop him right away. She's just like, I think she was like, huh? Yeah. yeah. Huh. All right. Which is why I, I, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Yeah. And then, as you know, right, as these things happen, the boyfriend comes out and goes, what you do, fool? Yeah. And then fight sort of is kind of happens. Yeah. And that's when these powers like manifest for the yeah. second time. Yeah. And it causes an explosion because he hits... A, a combo she hits. He hits something that causes an explosion. Yeah, some barrel. Yeah. That had that, 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 that was lighting up the fires. Yeah, I think so. And then obviously Superman has to come sort of help everyone. Yeah. And then they yeah. blame it on some random ex something heating up in the mines that exploded. Yeah. But, even though even though it's the weird thing is all these kids now with their smartphones recording the fight. And a laser comes out of nowhere. Ish. Yeah, no one. So to be fair, they, they you don't know where they're recording though, because they're not recording Jordan get beat up. They're now recording Jonathan get beat up because he tried to interfere. Yeah, to help his brother. But, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So and and I think when we were talking about the first episode, we were like, come on, who did not? How can you? The evidence is in front of you. You have got these smart cameras here. How can you not reference this? No. How's everyone not going to know the evidence? Actually, is relevant later on. Yeah. Because uh, our guy we were speaking about before, Tag, yeah, gets super speed, um, somehow. <clears throat> yeah, that's not and... really explained, is it? No, but then you could say it's also part of. The... Okay, so he he saw the footage of the fight, and yeah. he was like, "All right, Jordan did no." Okay, I, I, it was actually part two. It was one of two things here. Hmm. So he started having his. Um, Speed spasms, I'll call them, yeah? Yeah. But basically, just, you know, his, his his shakes, yeah? Yeah. Super speed shakes. And Jonathan's befriending the football team because he didn't. And he's like, tag, what's up? What's what, what's wrong with you, man? What's, yeah. You know, let me know. Because he broke his arm, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then <clears throat> when tag runs off and Jonathan comes to help him and then Jordan's chasing them. And Jordan's like, no, I'll, I, I'll, I'll let me let me see if I can help him. And he kind of grabs Tag while he's just shaking about. Yeah. And it stops. Like the shakes. And yeah. then obviously they, they, they come back even, not even worse, but they didn't get, it's not, Jordan didn't, didn't really do anything to stop him. He just shakes him off and then Tag just runs away. Yeah. Uh, so it's like, when, when, he, when he first said, what did Jordan do to me? I assumed he was saying, what did Jordan do that he kind of stopped the shakes? Yeah. But then he referenced the phone. Because it's like that 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 Jordan he re- referenced phone footage or something like that, saying um, that explosion happened and Jordan had something to do with it. Yeah. And then he showed Sarah it. And then I'm like, hold on a minute, does Sarah shouldn't at this point she realize something's going funny? Because if Tag knows Jordan yeah. had something to do with it, shouldn't Sarah work it out as well? Because from the same footage that she's seen. Yeah. It makes yeah. no sense. Yeah, but he, what it could have been is because uh, Jordan did stop him, mm. and then he was like, "All right, maybe tag made a couple of leaps, right? <laughs> yeah, leaps that happened to be right, right? Yeah." yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and and then everyone else is like, "Nah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not right because it's that didn't make any sense." <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's the best way I can put it. Because oh, when Sarah asks Jordan about it, Jordan's like, "I don't know what he's talking about." Uh, you got a footage there. Do you see anything wrong? Yeah. With, um, you know, I, I mean, lasers come out of me or anything like that. No, he didn't say those words. But but yeah, yeah. Because yeah. hmm. obviously he's a meta human, right? It's it's easiest way to explain his what powers really. Yeah, I was hoping, uh, though I, I I obviously clearly knew it wasn't going to happen, right? Well, not hmm. clearly knew, but you're like, all right, are they going to stop or are they going to go the same way that they usually do? Where Jordan has powers, yeah, and he's keeping it from from uh, Sarah, the person yeah. he's trying to get a relationship with. And I was like, it'd be refreshing, of course, if... So his social anxieties is also why, what's kept him out of school. So when he disappears every so often and he's having his, uh, I don't know, his Kryptonian puberties, yeah. right? But then actually something physically is wrong. They can't go to... They, the, the Clark and 
Lana, uh, Clark and Lois are like, you can't go to school because you might cause some issues. Murder, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right? So we're going to have to keep you back. Um, yeah, so you're like, all right, so by the time he gets to Sarah DNA, he's got to explain himself. Will he just kind of confide in her? Because that's kind of the direction they not the necessary direction they're going, but they're, it's the direction they're not going, you know? Mm. So will, will, will it be a surprise and... I don't know what, at some point, I reckon, whenever they break up or something, right? Yeah. I think he would have uh, probably either tell her before or after that point. I think he. Uh, I think it seems like he might unveil himself, like, that. So he had someone else to talk to outside of the family. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then again, in this in this continuity, Clark never told Lana that he's Superman. Yeah, I thought literally about to bring that up, yeah. Even Unless... though they're best friends, you know? Yeah. Um, unless of course she does know and she's just playing along with that she doesn't which is what a best friend would do <laughs> yeah which I can feel is coming at some point yeah I mean I would have liked to have known right mm. but he in this continuity as well when they showed the flashbacks is he's a kid yeah uh, 19 or whatever right <clears throat> by that point and he goes off and disappears for I don't know how many amount of years yeah come back and is married um, yeah so Huh. Yeah, and then I don't huh. know if you if you say he kept touch with her or not during his Metropolis years. Yeah, um, because they hadn't seen each other for a while. I'm like, well, that's how you treat your best friend. Yeah, it's but at the same weird. time, it's like if if they are truly best friends, why wouldn't he tell her even after she's married? And he's because he's not trying to get her, but he needs someone to talk to about his powers because it's going to be a period of time. His mom dies. Oh no, his mum's still alive at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. But you would think that he would want to have someone to speak to about what's going on. Maybe at Outside this point, like it's Lois there, but Lois is he's trying to get a relationship with her, and he can't. How's he going to say certain things that he can't explain? He can't say, "Oh, you know, I had a hard day as Superman to mm. Lois when she when they're not together, and he's not trying to say he's Superman yet," you know. Well, it depends if this is pre-crisis or what, because isn't in new the new Arrowverse universe thing? He's friends with Batman, so he could have Batman or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't actually. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, that's fair. That's fair. But I'm just saying. Um... But yeah, I get what you mean. I really get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, bit... it just it, it, look. Lana knowing gives them more them more options to write certain things for him to to for Superman to say you know yeah. things they say to other people yeah and and, and if, when you have a a lady friend like that that you could you you you're not trying to get with but you can tell her a, a lot of things that you can't tell other people yeah it, you'd think it helped someone especially someone like this who's an alien Kryptonian super slash superhero you know yeah. Maybe he uh, had no, Pete Rose. also knows how he really is because he cut, has to be Clark. Yeah. Like bumbling Clark as well on top of that to other people. So, Well, we could have had Pete... What's his best friend again? The, other, the dude guy? Uh, Pete Ross or Pete Rose? Yeah. Pete, Pete Ross. Yeah, he... Pete Rose who gets tombstone by Kane. What? Pete Ross. Uh, Pete Rose is the guy who gets tombstone by Kane. His name Pete Rose? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so... He could exist in this universe, but they just haven't introduced him yet. So that's what I liked, by the way, about um, some of the certain other Superman continuities. Uh, I believe in the new Fifty Two Superman, mm. Pete Rose and Lana Lang came to visit him when he was in Metropolis. Yeah, and they kind of had a chat about because um, they knew who was Superman. I think. Yeah. So they 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 were able to talk about all that stuff, and I was like, oh yeah, okay, and it would make sense because these mm. are guys, these are your best friends from. From childhood, yeah, who obviously know what you are actually like, and then know that when you're pretending that you're being a bumbling idiot, they kind of be like, "Oh, this behavior is not, you know, the guy yeah. we know." Yes, so you, can, you can relax more around them. Anyways, that's that. Um, I would like to think that she does know, and she's yeah, just same. being quiet and and wait for him to say before she says. Yeah, uh, and if only because. They had the conversation in an episode, and then later on she meets Superman, and mm. you're telling me she can't. And Superman's with Lois. So yeah, like, it's a bit. Hmm. It's not dumb. 
Unless she is, of course, you know? Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. It's, how do you ever look that? It's all thing in here. Also, I have to say the husband, Kyle. Kyle yeah. Cushing. Now, obviously, I think he's obviously, uh, written to be disliked at the beginning of it. Yeah. Um, because he's like got... I don't know, issues? It seems like, all right, it seems like his main issues with Clark is basically Lana used to go out of Clark before him. Yeah. And she, he thinks that Lana still pines for Clark. Yeah. And he's, I don't want to say second best, but he comes up for like he's got an inferiority complex to some degree about something. Yeah. And this is what it's manifesting as. Except that he's the chief fire person of Smallville. So it's like, you're the top of your profession you work yeah. so, and you save people as far as you know this guy's a jabroni right yeah. this Clark Kent is a jabroni who can't do jack you're saving people so why why you know and not to say you've got to be alpha male on all this right you would have thought he'd be completely secure yeah you would think that isn't it yeah um yeah. I, but it's cool that he wasn't he didn't become a like you know your standard bully uh yeah type stuck up in, in uh, I'm gonna say abusive husband, or you know what I mean? Just yeah, because like, they could easily went that route. Yeah, yeah. I think through through the series, he kind of he re- not realized his mistakes, but just realized how sharp he was being with people. Yeah, and he's like, he, and he, they tapered him down. But I think that's not, that's how they wrote it. It's like gradually through the series, you just realize it's not he's not a bad guy. He just he just feels like he's in an unfortunate situation sometimes. Yeah. Been dealt some bad cards. Yeah. yeah, and then, but then, you know, he rises above it. Yeah, essentially. So it's like good on them for not going <laughs> really, really distasteful ways. If you know, because he could have just turned out to be. It could have been a sub story where he's just like beating Lana Lang. And yeah, because like. it, it easily could have went that way easily because yeah. they sort of like didn't have like signs to it, but yeah, there's a bit of writing that yeah we could make this guy a total like deep. I mean, he could have just. Start just uh, verbally abusing them, yeah. calling them trash, and then later on he just elevates. Uh, later on in the series, as episodes go by, he just elevates his uh, <laughs> abuse worse and worse. Yeah, and you're like, no, no, this, yeah, yeah, this, that's not the route to go here. No, and he could have easily done that after. You know when he gets um, taken over by one of the Kryptonians. Yeah, they could kept that going where he that sort of made him become a dick, but no. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, Probably funny enough, when he got possessed by a Kryptonian, he actually became he became more attentive. <laughs> yeah, and I think that made him realize what was up. Yeah, uh, after he got depressed as well, he's like, "Oh, she's, you know, I was better father when I was possessed." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that, that's yeah. I mean, we joke about it, but kind of like you know what? That's, that's fair stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, any 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 standouts to you? Um. Hmm. I have to say the the lady who played uh, Morgan Edge's right hand lady, she was always, she was always something, man. She was definitely what they hired her to be. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, any standouts? Um. Surprisingly, I would say. What's it? Um. Jonathan Kent. At first, I didn't like him, and I was like, you know what? He's all right. But you know what it is what? right. I don't want to say he got the Vegeta kind of uh, style build where he was number one, right? Yeah. And just kept on getting knocked down and knocked down. No, 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 not to that degree, but it's just like you're, you you put at number one. Yeah. And just realize y- you are not there are other one. people better than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And it kind of knocked him down a couple of ego levels. But at yeah. the same time, it kind of humanized him a bit more because he reacts the way he should be and would be if he realized. You thought you were the best, but you're really second best. Yeah. And then, but then he takes it on the chin, and he's like, "You know what, though? That means I don't have superpowers. So when I'm on the football field doing my football stuff, that's all me. That's all me. Yeah, that's I work to get this. Yeah. yeah. And that's the, that's yeah. It's like okay, that makes sense. Um, and good on your ego for you know mm. taking that as a positive. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'll have to say as well when, <laughs> so when Jordan got his powers, right? Yeah. The dude, the big, the, the the quarterback, the the guy who was Sarah's boyfriend, yeah, start bullying them. Yeah, I think bullying kind of Jonathan specifically because Jonathan was on the football team, and Jonathan's like, "All right, I'll show you, I'll show you how it's done." Yeah, pounce. 
months. <laughs> yeah, he just messed them up. Yeah, and then he's like, "I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry for taking your girl. I didn't realize. Um, I, I, I'm sorry for kissing her. I didn't realize she was your girl at the time." Yeah, and the guy, the guy's like, "Yeah, sure." And they're like, shake hands and stuff like that, right? And he picks him up from the ground after yeah. he sent him flying, right? <laughs> and you're like, you know what? Um, I don't know how genuine this is. I mean, it probably is meant to be actually genuine, but it's like. When you got destroyed by a little skinny guy, he sent you like, oh, like feet away. Yeah. You're like, this guy has something I don't know, and I don't want to cross him. Yeah, he's like, like oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do whatever you like. I'll shake his hand, whatever, man. Like, just yeah, don't do yeah, that again. Just don't do it again. Yeah, don't hurt me. Yeah, but at the same time, it's more like you know what? I think they they kind of came to a a, a common ground yeah, there. Like, yeah, football. Yeah. Know, and okay, fair enough. I I overreacted when I punched you in the face, and you didn't know either. I yeah. don't not to say it's the girl's fault, but no one knew what's going on in this triangle, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna allow it. Um, fun enough, yeah. It's like she broke up with this guy, and she waits a while before she gets with Jordan, which I'm like, good because he's not a rebound guy, and it's just yeah. like, and it make her seem a bit, you know, uh, liberal with herself. Yeah, it wouldn't pay it <laughs> best the light. Yeah. yeah. So good on them for storing that and then and, and then and leaving it be. But I have to say. He, this guy, Sean Smith, the, the the quarterback, he got over Sarah pretty quickly. But that just makes me think, you know what? Their relationship was uh, not not as great as a as yeah. Well, I mean, no, it's as serious as it was to begin with. He was just yeah. happy to be going. They just happened to be going out. Yeah. Because um, he's like, oh yeah, Jordan, what's up? Afterwards, it's like, all right, well, not that he didn't care about the girl, but he's just like, he didn't care as as much much as he seemed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's just going out with her for she's the cheerleader and they, they're going to get style points, but whatever. Yeah. They kind of slid along that the, the beef of that just really quickly. quickly. Yeah. You then then it's not like the boys have had conversation on the side going, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know we we know what happened and I think she's in Jewish not into me anymore, so fair enough and stuff like that. It's not like if they had that, I mean, but then again, these are kids and they won't they're not mature enough to have that conversation. No. And except I like, this, but except the thing is, this is a teenage drama. Uh, this is a drama series where they can have that conversation. Yeah, but I guess they don't want to get too bulked down in that stuff, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But I did like the way how they presented Sarah. Like, yeah, she, she wasn't like a damsel in distress or anything. Like, she was always capable and smart. So yeah, I really... and and she got she. I mean, what brought her and Jordan together is they both have issues. Yeah, she dealing with depression. Yeah. And she she committed, she tried to commit suicide, didn't she? Yeah, um, I think they referenced something along those lines. I don't think they outright say it though. She yeah. Sort of herself maybe or something like that. But I, I, yeah, I don't think they went that far as to mm. as to actually verbalize it. Yeah, no, I don't think they went that far. But yeah, they kind of like hinted to it, like, oh, yeah, that's I, I, why her dad's yeah. a bit weird with her. Um, which is fine. Okay, so Jonathan is with a girl. At the beginning yeah. of uh, episode one, and when they shift to Smallville, that he breaks up. That girl breaks up with him for yeah. whatever reason they do, right? And then he's got to go Metropolis as part of the football team to fight uh, to traverse against his old team. Yeah, and they all like outcast him and stuff like that, and they try to bully him. And then Jordan comes along, just smacking people to the side, and then Clark's like now. He, he's there because he's like, okay, both the boys on the football team, I've got to look after John, uh, uh, Jordan because he's a bit of a wild card, right? Yeah. Especially with his powers and, and, and how his mentality is. Because, mm. like, yeah. So when when Jordan just smashes up guy across the ground, <laughs> Clark's like, Jordan, come over here. Yeah, that's And he just enough. actually tells him, just like, uh, uh, Jordan's like, oh, what'd I do? Because, uh, I, I, uh, you know, I, as part of the game, I knocked him over and goes, you you, you gotta put you gotta stop that stuff and you know exactly what i mean when i say that yeah you try to be slick but is that like i you forget i had pa- i have powers too <laughs> i mean i can see i know how these First, work i was also a teenage boy yeah secondly i have powers so i know exactly what you're doing right but you need like my father did to me you need to you you, you need someone to tell you this is not the time or the place to do yeah. those sort of things which is cool yeah I mean, look, the whole series is good to see Clark as a dad because you don't really get to see that in, in media. No. Uh, mainly because they used to really repeat the story of him getting with Lois most of the time. Yeah. This is already done, so... Yeah. 
So it, it, it refreshed everything in my in my book. The way I look at it is like, what's all this new? Yeah. And um, you're continuing a story rather than rehashing a story. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Then the boys celebrate their win, right? While Superman yeah. goes off to deal with something else. They, they, he's like, in, in the, the hotel in Metropolis, he's like, uh, Clark's like, you boys got to stay here. I've got there's some something happening, and I've got to deal with it. <clears throat> mm. Except then, then the Smallville football team goes, "Oh yeah, 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 let's celebrate, boys! Come out, come out!" And they're like, "Oh yeah, okay, sure, sure, we'll." And they wherever they're hanging out, right mm. outside the hotel, wherever they are, right, they just happen to come across. No, the Metropolis football team just happens to come across them, looking for a fight. It seems. So yeah. I'm going to guess the Metropolis football team was just hanging around, searching the entire uh, area working out where the Smallville Hotel was, the Smallville Team Hotel was, and then decide to fight them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they just pushed Jordan a bit too far, and Jonathan's like, no, we got to, like, even though they're cussing me, and they're going after me, right, I have to stop Jonathan from causing them damage. Yeah. I mean, Jordan. Jordan then just start, goes to throw a punch to destroy what I If this punch connected, it would have killed this guy, yeah. right? Straight up. And uh, by the way, I don't know how fast Jordan is moving because, you know, super speed, right? Mm. But Jonathan swings his hand in there to block the blow. And it's like, he, did he match his super speed? Or, or did it, or was John, or Jordan not moving at super speed, just moving at normal speed? Anyways, whatever the case, Jordan threw the punch, yeah? Jo- Jonathan blocked it and it broke his own hand. Well, wrist, yeah? It broke yeah. his wrist because it didn't shatter his hand. And uh, yeah, the boys were like, oh, no. And I'm thinking the guy who would have taken the punch, they're like, you can't, yeah, you're just lucky. Yeah, like, you do. <laughs> your face would have been just shattered. Yeah, this be a, a manslaughter case. For, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. They're like, good on Jonathan for being like, you know, saving his brother. He, he's, he's done it a couple of times in the series where he's always had jo- uh, Jordan's back, even though the boys have uh, disputes amongst themselves. Yeah. Issues. It's like, at the end of the day, they are brothers, so they they have each other back no matter how stressful the situation can get. Yeah, which is pretty. And cool. no matter what problems they had beforehand, either. Yeah, because there's issues where they've had a uh, go at each other, and then they're like talk it out and stuff like. Well, first of all, you're in the same household. So how how else are you going to deal with it? Yeah. Secondly, it's like you know, your brother goes like jo- Jonathan knows that Jordan's going through issues, mental issues, and and these and these new Kryptonian issues. It's like yeah. you got the boy some slack at the same time it's not going to stand there and just get mouthed off like either because it's like yeah you're going through issues yeah but then give you the right to to talk uh, yeah it's what down to me and treat me like i'm crap yeah exactly so it's like good on them that their relationship is more it is exactly i think they bring it the way that it should be written yeah because first of all they act like punks when they need to act like punks but they're the teenage kids as well right yeah and at the same time they're more like um they're rude to their parents, as you would be as well in certain situations. Yeah, at that age as well, yeah. yeah and they get told off and they accept it. And they, they accept the reasons why and stuff like that. And you're like, yeah, you know, these guys aren't bad boys. Um, they're just, yeah, just standard teenagers. Hmm. Going through their standard teenage puberty yeah, issues. going through teenage stuff, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So that's why he's like, when I say the drama stuff is, is accept- an acceptable watch, it yeah. doesn't drag anything down. It's just like... The, the the it's like it, it's character building in a way yeah team building however you want to do it <laughs> because family building yeah something yeah because the um by the end of the series jordan i don't want to say he's the, he's the mentally weak one right but mm. but it's only because he happens to have kryptonian powers right yeah and he's going through all these issues morgan edge is like yes i'm t- i'm gonna use that guy yeah I'm going to use that guy to transport my eradicator father's mentality into. Yeah. And he can't fight back because he's a he's a chump and he knows it. And he's a child. Yeah. That was pretty. That was a good little. Twist so you have there. Superman fighting his son, who's got the voice of the, the like a um, the voice echoes of Kryptonian's. Uh, Morgan Edge's father. <laughs> yeah. We're like, all right, fine. And you look at the size of the super suit because he's super muscular. And then you look at this teenage boy and you're like, what? Like, <laughs> it's kind sure. of funny, but it's not laughable because okay. it's played serious. Yeah. Like, but it's only just the massive odd difference. 
Yeah, and uh, and uh, I have to give it to Vin Diesel because the power of family was the, what helped. Um... Of course, man, it triumphed. Yeah, yeah, it triumphed because so Clark, uh, Clark uh, can't bitch slap his own son like that, right? And right. that's why he's beating him up. Yeah. He kind of was. What has he resolved? He takes him into space and makes him unconscious. Yeah. Was yeah. Was that the one? No, he did that to Tag. Did he also do that to to John, uh, Jordan? I can't remember. Yeah. He did something to him. Yeah. And then they put the um, Kryptonian mind meld thing we jig. Yeah. To to purge uh, Morgan Edge's dad. His dad, yeah. But then at this point, he's like, you can't do anything to me. He needs to like, got Jonathan in a choke, a flying chokehold. Yeah. And then, and yeah, and then Jordan ends up taking control because he's going to kill his own brother. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, all right, good, good on you, boy. You did it. You did it. Um, so that was, that was cool as well. Cause it's like the guy who started off thinking he's got no self-worth, is, he, he had to triumph over his own issues to save his own family members. Like, yeah, yeah. this guy, this guy got the uh, hot tag as well. So fair enough. Yeah. It's like, you didn't chump him out, Jonathan. Jonathan's still doing good. Yeah. I also did like Jonathan's weird relationship with, um, John Henry. Or yeah. Like still. Yeah. So th- th- this by the point where John Henry. Okay. So in what, in, in, towards the middle of the series, John Henry's like, you know, what, I'm going to have, I'm going to take out Superman for good. Hmm. <laughs> And he actually almost does, right? Yeah. The boys, because of uh, Jordan's development powers, they work out, they use the superhuman to work out where, where Clark is getting beat up. Yeah. Uh, Clark has Superman, by the way. And they just drive into uh, Steel. They drive into John Henry, who's not in this Steel suit, but using his Steel hammer to just make a mockery of Superman. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like you're saying, the boys did good there, right? Yeah. But then later on, when they work, find out why exactly Steel's after Superman and stuff like that, they get more. They understand. They start understanding him a bit more. Yeah, he kind of sympathizes like, with him. Stay on the farm with us, right? We, you did. You did almost kill Superman, but at the same time, because uh, he got mind possessed yeah. by by Morgan Edge as well, which sets up the entire ending where Superman fights his own son. But anyway, yeah. So, yeah. But so they needed Steel to defeat Superman, right? Yeah. At, at that point, and then that's when Jonathan's like. Yeah, that's why they're like, oh yeah, on the farm, stay on the like steal. Clark's like to steal, stay on the farm with us. Um, we need the contingency in case something happens to me, and you, you, you can be the man who pulls the trigger. Yeah, exactly. You, <laughs> yeah. you, you want to kill me anyways, right? It yeah. Like that. But it's like, look, you, you want to, you want to put me down, and you've got all the weapons to do it. Yeah, so and you won't hesitate. If does happen to me? You can, you know, you, you. I want you to be the man to do it. Yeah. And that's when you say, yeah, his Jonathan starts developing a, a friendship, kind of a yeah. kinship, friendship or mentorship. Steel. Weird, yeah. yeah, yeah, but not, but not in a, in a weird way that he's out to try and kill his own dad, or he's like no. he's got something. Because oh, no, you know, you can say the issues beforehand. He's just angry at, at his own dad, and he's like, okay, I'm going to help a guy who developed weapons to kill him. It's not like that. It's just no. like he, Jonathan, Jordan's got powers, and he can help Superman somewhat, and yeah. and Jordan. Jonathan's got like a little inferiority complex at this point because of that. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I want to be able to help too. And if I can help Steel make these weapons, I can learn how to make these weapons. And therefore I can help you guys fight all these other Kryptonians as well. Yeah. And I, I also saw it as like... Boy, but this... <laughs> go on, go on, you saying? I was saying, I, I also kind of saw it as like, he re- sort of relates to John Henry because he has no powers either. So that's something yeah. like they have in common. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the funny thing is when they when they obviously um, find Jonathan with Steel at some point, they're like, well, there's a conversation to be had, but he's not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't like it. Yeah. So I was like, that's actually really fair. And they said it in front of him as well. So you're like, you know, we're not going to, we don't, it's not a problem per se, especially about you. It's just. It's yeah, not particularly yeah. safe, and we don't want you fighting Kryptonians. That the you know at the end of the day. Yeah. Which is good. Which is uh, you know I want to say good parenting, but it's just like you know what you you accepted his why he did it, and you accepted his argument for doing it. Yeah. You just you care for him too much to allow him to do it. Um, yeah. Because it is dangerous. So that's that's you know as long as he knows the the flip side. Yeah, he knows that um, death be around any corner if you mess with. 
Kryptonians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Basically, yeah. Uh, that's that's good stuff there. And uh, what did you think about his, his Jonathan's kind of odd relationship with that other girl? Um, oh, the one that you never know what she's actually doing because, like, first she's trying to get with him. No, he tries it on with her, and she's like, "Oh no, you're a bum," or whatever, and then. Yeah. Because he thinks he knows something, she tries to get with him. Yep. And then she tries to get with him afterwards when he's turned her down. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That was a that was a really up and down. Yeah. Race. It's realistic, though, but, um, yeah. First of all, cause they're teenagers and they love gossip, so I can see why they kind of did that. Yeah. And I can see why she... Like, when she explains her backstory of how she moved over as well and her dad was in prison before and stuff like that and yeah. she's only been in this town for a couple of years and she was identifying with a guy who just shifted over as well from another city yeah. and he took it as a I don't want to say a flirtation but when she was giving him the eye because it's like you know I, I, I understand you yeah. he took it as I want you <laughs> yeah. yeah well not necessarily to that level but he took it as oh that she, she's she got feelings for me. I can, I can try and, I can try it. And when she turns him down, he accepts it. Like, you know, like, uh, oh, I, okay, I, I, I thought about this the wrong way. Yeah. No problem. I'm gonna step back over here. Uh, and in his mind, you can see from the acting, by the way, the character. He's like, I don't like what just happened here. Yeah. But I'm gonna sit down and walk away and accept it because I, I respect the lady's decision. That's that's yeah. Yeah. You know. That's a mature guy, right? Yeah. Then later on. Like you say, she plays on his heartstrings. Like, oh, do you want to... After the Kryptonian invasion to a degree, right, where people got powers? Yeah. And then they got those powers got nullified? Yeah. Because they know that General Lane uh, is the, the boys' grandfather. Yeah, she tries it. Yeah, she she's like, oh, yeah, uh, Jonathan, do you want to skip school and go to the forest with me? Yeah. He's like... Oh yeah, I thought you weren't interested. And she's like, oh yeah, well, you know. Oh, yeah. Who says friends can't be just friends? Um, like, okay, fair enough, All right? And then, like you're saying, they 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 drive into the forest. They sit in the car, bonnet, and start talking. And then she's just poking at the issue of, oh, what happened here? What's your what's your your grandfather saying? And obviously, Jonathan clocks because this girl is not subtle whatsoever. Yeah, oh, God. Like, woman, are you only here? To pump me for information. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk home. Yeah. I mean, obviously, from that point, you're like, you know what? This guy's, she upset him. Yeah. Like, she hurt him. He, he, he's just gonna be like, I'm gonna take this time to walk home to, to you know, mentally blow up some steam. Yeah. And she's, I, she, I, she, I think she actually felt a bit guilty afterwards as well. Yeah. Kind of in the last episode, you kind of get that from me. Like, yeah, yeah. Because she had, then had to explain her entire backstory to him, and he's like, that's, I don't like what you did. I see why you did it. Yeah. Uh, you can't do that to me because I just because I liked you, I wouldn't ask you out or have whatever, right? Yeah. You can't be trying to use that against me for for your own means. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think did they kind of have a did it end up being a couple at the end of it? I, no, I just think they. I think how it sort of ended, they're sort of like gonna give friends a go and then go from there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they, what it looked like to me was like, all right, so we've settled where we are. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know where we stand, right? Yeah. <laughs> where if something happens, something happens. But at this point, yeah, we we are solid friends because, I you know I tried to trick you, you tried to trick me, whatever, right? Fair. Um, yeah. So kind of, I want to say I'm interested to, to see where they go, but at the same time, it's like, if she's even slyer than ever, that might be even more entertaining. Yeah. Yes. But they won't do that. I don't think they should do that because I just make this. If this was the type of show that did it, you could laugh at how outrageous Stupid. it gets. Yeah, but because this show's quite serious in tone, yeah, I don't think it'll go um, that route. And 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 if you're even if you're a teenage girl, how how sly can you be? This girl's not sly whatsoever. So no. <laughs> um. But yeah, yeah. Um. I'm glad they didn't have like. A massive super fire at the end of these this series. No, that's all the budget for it, seems right. But yeah. secondly, like, it didn't need it. No, I think it would have like soured the tone of the show if it did it. They did do it that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, the end fight was basically 
Steel and Superman versus Morgan Edge and six other Kryptonian. Oh, Morgan Edge, Jordan slash not Jordan. Yeah. Uh, and 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 when he was in the fight and when he wasn't, and then six other possessed uh, six other army people possessed by Kryptonian brainwaves. Yeah, that fight was funny though. Sorry. <laughs> Because super, oh, wait, there was an episode where Steel, like when when Superman first takes down Steel, and they put him to the, they take him to the army wherever Sam Lane is. Yeah. And they have him under arrest. Hmm. And then one of the army people. Yeah. They are actually uh, one of the possessed Kryptonians. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So he takes John Henry Irons to level four, four, three, uh, three. 7734. Seven, yeah. Or if you put those numbers in, it becomes the hell, right? Yeah. Uh, why do you take that? He, he took him down for questioning, right? Even though yeah. they were having, they were taking John Henry Irons down there, uh, had him arrested because the army wanted to interrogate him. And this rogue army guy wanted mm. to also interrogate him for Mor- on Morgan Edge's behalf, right? I think. Yeah. Or get, to find try out- and cohort him to join Morgan Edge to kill Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, and down in level hell or whatever, right? Yeah. Is uh, all those kryptonite weapons that are used to disable Superman or even kill him? Because Sam yeah. Lane's like, Clark, like, what's down there, right? And Sam Lane's like, you you can't go down there. If you go down there, you Indeed. might not come back from there. That's yeah. all weapons. To, they're all weapons there, deliberately made to try and uh, kill you. Yeah. Put you down, whatever. And he, but he goes anyway because he's Superman. He has, even though who. His enemy at that point is is Steel. He goes and um, he goes and tries to rescue him because that's what Superman would do. Yeah. So this guy launches a kryptonite grenade at Superman. Synthetic kryptonite grenades, right? Yeah. And um, they get into a physical fight, and I was like, okay, so are we going to see some Superman fight, uh, some Superman a bit of fighting ability because he don't have powers? Mm. But I would just say he's still a brawler because it's not. I want to say choreographed fighting, but he wasn't exactly using boxing style or anything like that, you know? No. Just throwing his fist I want to see Superman fight like a brute either, because he doesn't. Hmm. I just think he leans more on his brute fight ability when he has powers, because what's, what, you know, he could do anything. He's Superman. Yeah, he's Superman. Um, there was that robbery in that Middle Eastern country. Yeah. I don't know exactly where it was, right? It looked like what, Turkish, Greek, or whatever. Yeah. It could have been Afghanistan or whatever, for all we know, right? Yeah. But, um, yeah, where he's dealing with them, them, them robbers, and he just palm thrusts them. Like, you know, he's just essentially just pushing them into walls and stuff like that. Because if you punch them, he'd kill them. Yeah. So, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> that was uh, crazy. And then when he gets shot, yeah, so this is after he's taken the same synthetic kryptonite and his powers are still a bit off key. Yeah. They shoot him mm. and they shot and he goes down. And then later on, and then when I say later on, he just gets up a couple of seconds later and just deals with them like the jabron- uh, like the robber jabronis they are. Yeah. But then he goes back home and starts putting ice packs on himself because you can see the bullets kind of in, uh, made the bruises on they him. They bruised him, yeah. And, and you're like, that guy, Tyler he- Hecklin, is built. Yeah. So, but the just suit just makes him look funny. And makes you can him... see his out build because when he's topless, it's like, that's not the build of the, the that the suit shows me when he's in it. Yeah. It's Superman's um, mass shape power. Oh, what's it? It's a, it's, it's, he's apparently there's a power for it. He can shift mass or whatever to make him look different. Are you also yeah. saying about his uh, Kryptonian adoptive ability to make people think that Clark Kent and uh, Superman are different people? Yeah. Because he had that power at one point. Not yeah. in this continuity, I'm just saying back in the comics. Back in the comics, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Or the ability for Superman to spit out many Supermen that did that did stuff for him. I'm going to pretend I never heard that. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, gosh. yeah. We best pretend. <laughs> we best pretend that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Really, I, I, I thought it was really well told. Even the bits that you uh, that. You, you like as a casual audience, like you might have seen, think that you've seen before, yeah, or, or stuff that is not relevant to the main story in particular. Mm. All help develop people though, and yeah. I, I like how it's like for the season they knew what they were trying to do and they weren't going to get sidetracked by anything else. They didn't yeah. need to, any pad, any filling. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, so, like they have to do with a lot of the other CW shows. Yeah. They've got to do that, yeah. The, 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 the things need to move out of sound piece. And the episodes went by pretty quickly. Nothing dragged. No. Uh, That's great. Yeah. That's great. And it wasn't like, I, you would assume, obviously, being an action series, it's, it's the kid drama that you don't want to see. But you know, you know what? I don't want to say I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, right? But it's like, you know what? This is watchable, though, to, to, to see how the sons of Superman would be dealing in the world where they're trying to slash hit pu- pu- puberty, but also powers as well. Yeah. We haven't seen the media before. It like um, it was like it was a it was a nice even split between the two. So I was I like that. Yeah, yeah, very good. Uh, you're you're telling people to watch this. Yeah. Uh, in the UK, that if the uh, if they haven't watched it, whenever it comes on, whatever that it will come on. Yeah, hopefully it comes out on either Sky One or Channel Four. What is it? E4? Even, yeah. even if it even it comes on some streaming service, you know what? If it comes on one of the streaming services I have, I'd give it a rewatch. Yeah, definitely. It's a very good show. Um, even ends on like a weird cliffhanger, but not too much of a cliffhanger. Like, oh no, we need to watch season two. But yeah, hit, 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 hit the people with the cliffhanger. Uh, like the people haven't seen it, I haven't seen it, right? But you might as well just, as we told everything, you might as well just give them what the cliffhanger is. Yeah. So basically, um, it ends with Clark and his family, and um, John Henry Irons is like, you know what, I need to go and find my sister in this world and sort of like actually talk to her you know i might see you guys around i might not you know whatever and then his suit detects a unidentified flying object coming towards them and like oh no it must be another krypton or something from his world yep and then a shuttle crashes and it opens up and i was like i wonder who this is going to be yeah and then it's his daughter from his earth who's yeah. made it over to their earth. You're like, oh, yeah. okay. And, and then... Okay. No, you go on, you go on. You're going to probably say exactly what I'm going to say. So, yeah. let you say so then he runs up to a hugs her and she's hugs them too. Like, daddy! I don't know if you remember if she says daddy or not. And then <laughs> she looks over and sees Lois, who's her mum in their world. And yeah. it's like, ooh. Now yeah, because so Lois is with the two sons and Clark. Yeah. And she's like... Uh, Natalie, his, 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 um, John Henry Irons' daughter, Natalie. Yeah. Not Natasha. No. That's his uh, It's watch. like, mother? Yeah. Because last you saw, evil black killed. suited man. No, I say black suited Superman, not black Superman, right? Black suited Superman. Yeah, black suited Superman. And we assumed that he cut her own half of heat vision because that's the, that's, that's the way that his heat vision was going across before they switched the camera angle. You don't see it. Yeah. Or he disintegrated her, but yeah, yeah. Way, so yeah, I, it wasn't a cliffhanger to lead on what's going on next season. No, it was like, oh, this is an awkward place, yeah, because the best place to end though, because they resolved all the strings and it, it, it's like it, it concludes the end story. It yeah. just leaves a little uh, bit of the tension, so you can you are thinking, all right, what is going to happen now? Because this, <laughs> this is awkward, yeah, exactly. It's like, so that's technically her brother's. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, 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 exactly. And she's married to the man that killed her in my reality. So much well, things to deal with. At this point, at this point, Natalie does not know that because she just arrived. Yeah, but yeah. So much yeah. for things for her to deal with, like mentally, it's just messed up. Oh my goodness, she's gonna have. You know, if she, I, I hope they didn't do it, but she could have a teen, a standard teenage daughter meltdown right from that situation. Yeah, it'd be good to see what what happens next. Like, yeah. oh. It gives enough intrigue, but I do wonder then if this is the end of a cliffhanger, how are they going to start the next season? Are they going to have it pick up from directly pick up this point and then skip a year later or what? You know. Yeah, good point, isn't it? They can't have it. I'll oh, skip a year later and then everyone's all like, okay, we well, already dealt with that situation. I need to reiterate what happened then. And it's mm. just like, well, no, but then we've missed her reaction. As yeah. To, you know. Unless um, it starts with like six months later and then throughout the show it's got kind of flashbacks to what actually happened yeah which is kind of what they did during this show to show superman's early years yeah and his, uh, and his teenage years as well so yeah. that's fair as well but it, uh, yeah that stuff ne- was necessarily to be told this whatever cliffhanger here they could resolve in the first episode yeah yeah because i was thinking because like you couldn't do straight off there in a way because 
Yeah. Then that means whatever threat comes next is literally just is coming next. You're like rather than you know like all the other shows where each season ends, then it picks up like X amount of months later. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty. I don't know. Be a bit weird. To just pick up straight yeah, away. Yeah. Um, like you were saying earlier as well. It's good that this basically the story was told throughout the 15 episodes were you know it's just that particular story. No, no sidetracking. No filler. No nothing else. Yeah. Which is good, and I hope that obviously they. They put it over for the next season to do exactly similar layout. Yeah, fifteen episodes and done, rather than twenty six. Yeah. Uh, be cool. yeah. So if it comes on again somewhere, yeah, that in the UK, I'd watch it again. Oh, I'm so. also looking forward to the next season as well. Yep, I want to see more cameos from John Diggle. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. I, I just hope they they adjust that suit as well. That's the main thing. But yeah, also think we should readjust the steel suit to be more steel looking as well. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I do wonder how they're going to do the crossover s- episode. I think what they might do though, because you know how this seems to be take place. It's fifteen episodes mm. and streamlined. Yeah, and it's kind of separate, not separate from everyone else, but everyone else's uh, series are separate from everyone else as well. Yeah. So what might happen is either they'll have a special episode. Like yeah. at the beginning or the end of the 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 season of yeah. this the second season of Superman, that is kind of outside of the current story. Yeah. Or they won't have a crossover in the the Superman uh, series. They'd be, he'd be crossing over into the other series, but they won't yeah. cross over his specifically. Yeah, probably not because it wouldn't match really, unless it's yeah. like a big crisis event sort of like. I could see his sort of show fitting into when he did Crisis, but. Other than that, no, I don't think you can I mean, really... Look, they've, they've still got a crossover with Batwoman, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow. Is there something else? Mm, I would say Supergirl, but Supergirl's finished. No, but no, still, no, no, it's still got one more... Yeah, yeah, Supergirl next season finishes. No, this is this this is the season. Season right now is the final season. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I thought there was one more season after that, but okay. All right, well... Oh, you know what? They might just do special episodes. <laughs> yeah, probably. like uh, the 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 you know, like a one-off episode of Supergirl for the crossover episode where John Diggle decides to be Green uh, Lantern finally. Yeah, fun. Yeah, we'll see yeah. how that works. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> uh, but uh, overall, you're saying thumbs up. Even yeah. even the stuff that you weren't looking forward to, but you know what they're gonna have in, the, in this episode, I'd actually say are quite watchable as well. Yeah, super watchable. Yeah. Yeah, so two thumbs up, yeah. Yep, yeah, two thumbs, two thumbs. Great, 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 great stuff. Yeah, uh, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, overall, um, no, yeah, way more good than bad. I would say. Yeah, yeah? A, lot, a lot more, a lot more good than bad. Yeah, uh, very minimal complaints actually. I'd say. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, that would be us uh, signing off, right? Yep. I am. Um, I'm the erratic. The. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna go for a really complicated one, which no, I'm the... <laughs> I was like, I'm the, the infected Kryptonian who's the son of Kalel, who's who has the embodiment of Taro's father inside of him. See why Chong? So, and I am the guy who, in the same week, appeared in the same in two CW shows, and both of the cameos made no sense. Carl Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, and uh, thanks for taking a trip around the multiverse with us. Yes, um, if you can watch Superman and Lois, um, let us know what you think. Was it? By the way, it? just before we did, because we didn't mention it, would you prefer the show be called Superman and Lois or Superman and Lois Lane? Because I think Superman and Lois Lane sounds a bit. So I prefer Superman and Lois Lane. Just sounds a bit more. I don't want to say inclusive the word, but Superman Lois Lois sound it just it's it's like you've left out Lane. The, yeah, the, yeah. The, the rest of her name. Who, who is this? Not who is this Lois, but just be like. But yeah. is she Lois Lane still? Oh, okay. Good point. Good point. No, because I right. can't remember. Like she doesn't take his name when they get married, does she? Like you're in the comments and stuff, does she? To be fair, they only reference her as Lois Lane. They never reference her as Lois Kent. Yeah. Uh, even though Lana Lang is Lana Lang Cushing, and. Sarah, her daughter Sarah is Sarah Cushing. 
and Jordan and Jonathan Kent are both Kent. Yeah, yeah. cuz I just don't remember like if if she ever does take his name. Yeah. Oh, you know, to be fair, if they put Superman as low the low thing, they people would, might assume that it was uh not a reboot or one of those it's just another superman series where he's trying to hook up with lois lane yeah than, but then you can't put lois kent because people be going who's lois kent yeah okay that's fair I didn't think of it like yeah that's, that's... yeah i think we just put more thought into it yeah right more now thought than we should have <laughs> <ever did. laughs> uh, i'd find out if you ever called lois lane but yeah um if you can watch it it's great it's great and yes, um, we'll catch you guys next time and we'll try s- even more random tangents. So, <laughs> bye. All you care about is one person when everyone else on this planet's about to die. How pathetically human. Why would he take Jordan? Why would he take Jordan? I don't know how much time we have before he's gone. I have seen how capable the boys have become. They're strong. Like their father. Like their mother. Jordan! You can't do it alone. You have to let us help you. You need to evacuate Smallville. We can go. We can stay in help. We stay in help. We're gonna fail. Again. Go! Where is my son? You have no idea what's coming next. Dad! Even Superman won't be able to stop it. Help me out. I don't want to die. Superman and Lois, season finale, Tuesday at 9 central. Free next day, only on the CW app.